Okay, would you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Chris Bear. I'm the general manager of the National Premier Leagues. The National Premier League? Yes. Well, that begs the question, what is the National Premier League? It's a great question. Uh, the National Premier League's uh, concept is to try and get the best clubs in uh, specific markets and develop league platforms by which, over the course of an entire uh, season, we're promoting on the best teams with, or clubs within the leagues and presenting a national championship of league winners. So traditionally, um, championships have been set up more of a cup-based weekend and move on. We're trying to encourage a longer view and vision for the clubs and those players in terms of development, uh, create a league-driven platform, much like you'd see in Europe uh, within the Euro European Champions League model, where you're taking league winners uh, from certain markets and doing a championship along the league, uh, league championship. Sounds like it parallels the uh, US Academy program. Very similar. It's not like we've created um, the idea. It's it's modeling what U.S. Soccer is doing in the Development Academy, uh, very similar to what ECNL is doing. It's clubs providing a platform, and again, uh, simple, simplifying the calendar, simplifying uh, the, the long-term development goals, uh, getting best training uh, formats, getting better training to game ratios, mm -hmm. and trying to bring that all under a national program. Talking to uh, several of the coaches this week, and I, they, they talked to me about how this is where they're fo going to focus their efforts now, beyond the academy. Mm -hmm. As I understand, every academy program is participating in the uh, in the Midwest. In the Midwest, Midwest okay. for sure. We've also got development academy programs in the East Coast. We have the Northeast mm -hmm. Pre-Academy League. We also have representation in uh, Texas with mm -hmm. the Texas Pre-Academy League. Uh, we've also got some clubs in uh, California as well. So right. it's growing. Um, it's expanding rapidly, and the, the, the principle is to try and interlink a lot of those platforms. So to provide a place for the same mentality, whether you're at the High End Development Academy, you got second teams, third teams, it's trying to make a, a club-based model that provides a I just saw a couple platforms. of St. Louis teams, Gallagher boys, win, win Midwest Development League titles today. Uh, two, less than two weeks ago, I saw them win state cup titles. What, what's the uh, connection? Is there a connection? There is no connection. It's totally separate platforms. Okay. Again, on your traditional cup format, it's uh, usually over the course of a weekend or a string of games mm -hmm. that are more win and, win and you're uh, done. Win and go home. Right. Where the league is obviously, uh, ideally we want to get to a 10-month kind of playing platform, much mm -hmm. like Development Academy has. So your, your right. span of games and competitions over a longer period of time. Okay. So it's measuring uh, your development uh, over a longer period of time okay. as well. Did, did this grow out of the MRL? Is it supplementing, replacing, uh, separate completely? It's totally separate. Separate. Okay. Totally separate uh, management group on the, uh, from the high end from mm -hmm. U.S. Club Soccer as a national affiliate. Okay. So it's a totally separate platform. So the MRL was sort of club driven previously. Mm -hmm. They just needed that extra competitive boost and now yeah. you guys have come in to help MRL, manage a MRL league program. Traditionally it's been more team driven. So mm -hmm. you're, you're, you win your state cup, you might be eligible. You right. finish in a certain division, you might be eligible. Right. Okay. So again, this is more club based so that when uh, a, a, a St. Louis Scott Gallagher is traveling to play the Wolves, right. they're taking their 13s to 18s. So it's not one team here, one team there. Multiple, it's not viewed as that. So it creates a deeper pools of players right. in terms of uh, moving kids up and the freedom to uh, to reach out to more kids within that training platform. And it's not driven by whether that one team is good enough. It's about the ability of the club to compete and have those high standards. A couple other points that were emphasized, only one game a day instead Correct. of going to a tournament, trying to win, play two, three, 